What's up YouTube? It's the Concept Dude here today to bring you a review, or not really a review, but like a comparison between ZTE score for Cricut Wireless and the San Yozio for Cricut Wireless. So, same provider here, and but you still got well this phone has 600 megahertz processor, just like this phone. This phone also has one. But I can t I can tell you right now, this phone is slow. It's slow and it's not really worth your time but I think this phone has been discontinued from their online stores but they still sell it used I think in some in most Cricut stores right now at least that's what I found uh, here's a ZTE score and it's got 600 megahertz processor uh, 256 megabytes of RAM I do believe same as this so their specs are very equal but the performance for some reason is so much more smooth on this one. I don't know if it has to do anything with this one has Android version uh, 2.3.4 and this one has 2.2.1 I don't know if that has anything to do with it but certainly this one is much more laggy takes forever to do stuff while well, this phone is not. Uh, battery life is better on this one um, I've had this on standby for two weeks and it's only here's the battery 67 percent so that's uh, right there I have no I have no service on this one uh, this one I have service on right now actually no I don't have service actually I don't know if it says it anyway so let's get on with a speed test for angry birds let's do this show you how long it takes angry birds to load on both phones alright so it's gonna be kinda hard to do with one hand and go. If I pressed them both, uh, nope, this touch screen's kind of bad. Anyway, got a lag on this one a little bit. Well, three seconds. So, both loading. And this one has black bars on the side of it for no reason at all. See, right there. I don't know. This one does not. But. This touch screen, uh, this screen is actually better. The colors on it are better. So if you want a, a better looking screen, you're gonna go, yeah, you're gonna want to go with this phone. This phone is a worse looking screen, but the touch screen is flat. Oh, this one loaded. Oh, by the way, speakers on the back. Right there. This one's still loading. So obviously this one won, even though this one had a little bit of a delay. So, we'll do performance on it too. And this one is still loading. So this one's more pixelated and stuff. This one has better color, but the, it's just, the screen is curved. I don't understand who, wh why, like why? I don't know. This is by Kyocera, this is by ZTE. This one's still loading, so. And if you're planning on using this for gaming, oh, there you go. And delay. I didn't. Okay, so we'll do level one. I pressed it. I, I, okay. As you can see, this one, going ahead of this one, I, that one hasn't even started playing, it's still loading. Oh, I guess, guess not, this is going to play. So, alright. Here, let's try to use any words in this. A little bit of lag as it tries to do that. Alright. No lag, it's smooth. Try this one more level. Alright, I failed there. Okay, so that's that, and here's this one. 
as you can see, lag as it tries to do anything. If you're gonna want to game, you're gonna want to do this from right here. So, load home screen, load the home screen. Oh yeah, by the way, speaker is definitely better on this phone. The speaker on this phone is good, and I press the home screen, lag. It It's trying to load it. So the home screen is loaded. And here's your taskbar. As you can see, I'm roaming, have no service. Alright, and this one, here's your taskbar. Smoother. It's just... Everything about this phone is smoother. It's just much easier to use, and... Alright, so let's do a browser. Let's click on the little Google bar. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Oh my gosh. Well, see? This is a perfect example. Alright. Let's search up, uh... Ah. Uh, YouTube. Typing. Also a problem with this phone. You, it's really hard to type. What's that? Load up. Not completely done. Alright, so... Okay, no pinch to zoom. There's no multi-touch on, on this device at all. Not even for browser support or, like, anything. So, you got this. Let's search up YouTube. As you can see, much better typing. Search. Browser performance definitely better on this phone. Alright, so no pinch to zoom on this phone either. But it does have multi-touch. So, you know, you can still play games with multi-touch and stuff. Um, so overall, I guess this device is definitely better. The speaker is not loud, so, and also... The colors on it aren't as good, but, I mean, you're going to have so much frustration with, like, just even getting simple tasks to work. I find it difficult, and it just lags, and, and I don't know, just, it's too much of a hassle, and it's not worth your time, honestly. So, if you ever have a choice between the Cricut ZTE score or the Cricut Sanyo Zio, definitely go with the ZTE score. You can pick this phone up at Best Buy for $30 and I just bought it for 70 and a day later it goes to 30 So that kind of makes me mad. <clears throat> but this phone, I don't know, it's probably around like 50 at, at the Cricut store if you can even find it um, pre-owned. So The design on this is not, it's just plain. <laughs> I don't know. It's thin. So if you want a thin phone. This one's also thin, actually. Got a little circle. I don't know. And both cameras are terrible, so don't even worry about the camera. Alright, so that's the review. Or, not a review. A comparison of the Cricut Sanyo Zio versus the ZTE Score. Um, this one also has a, a track ball. Or, not a track ball. A ball. Uh, there it is. So, if you want a track ball, I guess. I don't know why you would. There you go. And thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if I didn't cover anything, which I might not have, uh, please leave a comment. I'll respond to it. I always do. And so, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.